Hey there, Wargamers, and welcome back to another Wargames Delivered video. Be sure to visit us at wargamesdelivered.com to get the paints, miniatures, and supplies used in this video, and also to refer a friend. You guys will both get a $15 discount, and with that, let's get into the video. In this video, I'll show you how I paint my Hobgrot Slittas from the Cruel Boys faction using a slap chop method with the Speed Paint 2.0 Mega Set. For the skin tone of the Hobgrot, I'm going to use a 2 to 1 blend of Fire Drake and Ochre Clay, and we're going to let the uh, slap chop basing method do most of the work here. A little bit about this unit, these guys act as a huge blob to slow your opponent down. They also have a very cool uh, ranged weapon attack that can do some surprising damage. Usually you'll have about 20 of these guys uh, in a unit, so you'll be painting quite a bit of them if you have an army of these. Once that step is dry, we'll base all of the armor with Grim Black to create a starting point for their black steel armor. I'm using a base coating brush for most of the uh, beginning steps here, but later on I'll switch to a precise detail brush for a bit more control over the speed paints. With this step, I use two coats to really get a solid black color on the armor. We will be going over this with some metallics to add some detail later on, so just be aware of that while you're working on this step. And for anyone interested, we have a unique promotion for all of the Army Painter paint lines right now over on our website at wargamesdelivered.com. If you buy six, you'll get three paints of your choice for free with your order. Link for this promotion in the description below. And here we're moving on to Slaughter Red for all of the tassels around his armor. I think this color looks really good over the slap chop technique. I usually use this over a heavy white Xenophil, uh, but now I'm reconsidering my priming methods. And we're also using ruddy fur to paint any straps around him holding up his armor. Now we'll switch over to some of the metallic areas on the mini, starting out with broadsword silver. Uh, I'm using this like a base coat for the rest of our metallic tones, uh, just really on the grenade and on the dagger that he's holding. There will be some other metallic details that we'll pick out on his armor, uh, but for now we'll just stick to the dagger and the uh, grenade here with this color. I really like how the uh, metallic speed paints seem to act similar to the normal uh, speed paint line where they really add shadows in the recesses, but more so than the other speed paints, they need a dry brushing and sometimes a wash to really push them to the next level. Be very careful around the skin that we painted earlier. It can be a lot trickier to clean up mistakes using a slap chop method, but if you paint uh, with a bit of patience, then it's a uh, great way to paint quick and detailed models. After finishing the rivets on the armor with Talos Bronze, we're going to switch over to Desert Yellow because I felt that the skin tone uh, wasn't as bright as I had imagined it in my head. So uh, using this, we're going to use a very light dry brush to kind of bring that mid and highlight tone back to the skin tone. For this step, I worked the paint into my brush on a piece of cardboard and tried to get most of it off of the brush. Uh, so that I didn't apply too much on the model. This is the best way that I've found to dry brush around other painted areas and still keep them clean. Next up, I wanted to add a bit more of a metallic finish to his armor, so I'm using plate mail metal here to edge highlight all of the panels on his armor. I think this is a uh, really quick way to add some definition and make the entire model pop. And lastly, I totally forgot to paint his eyes, uh, so I used some matte white to cover those areas up, and now we're just using some bright red to go in and uh, add a nice kind of red glowing effect to the eyes. These guys uh, do a lot of trading with the Chaos Dwarfs in the lore, so I thought it was pretty fitting to just kind of give them some glowing red Chaos eyes. Overall, I'm very happy with the uh, slap chop method used here on these models. Um, I think that uh, Games Workshop models really uh, benefit from using this method. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more painting tutorials. And also be sure to check out the top link in the description for the giveaway attached to this video. Thanks again, guys, and happy wargaming.